think yeah, we both knew this news. We couldn't break it, but we knew it. Yep. Um, Daniel Calhoun's officially with Wall, and they add another force into that offensive line. So what do you think of that move? And obviously, me and you were talking last night, and we said, you know, what I've been seeing, like I think that matchup from the Corky Kell that night game between Walton and uh, Grayson is going to be big time. What do you just think of that move from going there? It's absolutely game-changing. Walton last year had a great offensive line. Uh, we talked a little bit about the run game. It was Makari bought a fourth lead. He did a great job for him. But now that they have literally the best offensive tackle in the country, in the state with Daniel Calhoun, six foot eight, 340 pounds, that's going to completely take care of that side of the offensive line. That guy is huge. It's not like he's a transfer that's coming in, has these numbers. He's been kicking you know what for the last couple seasons every single coach we talked to last year that played centennial said they've got this guy i've never seen anything like it this guy's a full-grown nfl player at the high school level he's on walton's offense now that's going to make them so dangerous on second downs third and shorts the goal line i mean it's a great fit for him uh to come to a walton program with great offensive line play around him with a great quarterback with great skill players, so I think it's huge. Uh, and then especially going up against a Grayson team that eats defensively, that got that young talent with Atkinson. Is it Tyler Atkinson? He just won an award, too, in the Met Gala, too. At the, yeah, one um, of the best line, young be. linebackers in the entire cu- country. So it'll be one of the best matchups. But that has been why we've been hyping it up. We, we thought this move was going to happen. It's official now, so we can talk about it. But it just makes that matchup just – Unbelievable. I think um, you're looking at uh, a Walton win over Grayson out the gates. I think that's going to be a, a big message sent. And Grayson's obviously going to have a new head coach, too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it's going to be interesting to see from a cl- play calling perspective how innovative they're going to be just offensively. Because, like I said, they already have a one two punch from Bonifer, who's racked up more offers this past offseason as well. But then you combine that with Palinski, the great skill players you just mentioned, the running back, the offensive line. I mean, it's going to be difficult game planning against that because if you try to tip off one side, if you try to focus passing attack, they can run you. If you low eight, nine in the box, they can hit you over top. So it's like that's almost – that's going to be difficult to prepare for. Absolutely. Yeah.